Malaria Transmissions and Symptoms. I'm Lucy Chen. I'm Addison Lennox. I'm Ava Dupree. I'm Aiden Schneider. I'm Daphne Gabor. I'm Helen Perez. I'm Michelle Fu. And I'm Maria Tanaku. What is malaria? Malaria is one of the leading causes of death in Nigeria and throughout Africa as well. This disease is transmitted through the bite of a female anaphylis mosquito that has been infected by the parasite Plasmodium. This parasite has several um, variations including Plasmodium falciparum, Plasmodium vivax, and Plasmodium malariae. We have made this presentation in order to advocate awareness for how easily this disease can be transmitted, how severe its symptoms are, and how big of a threat this disease poses as a threat to developing countries in Africa. Transmission happens when a mosquito bacterium, the Plasmodium, is present. Up on the screen, we have a few of the most common symptoms of malaria. Those include fever, vomit, cough, headache, chills, stomach pain, and diarrhea. When experiencing more severe malaria, you may experience jaundice, seizures, mental confusion, comas, and extremely low blood levels. All of these symptoms are crucial in order to, for your protection. Some high-risk areas include subtropical and tropical parts of Africa, uh, poverty, influenced areas and low income areas due to their lack of awareness and lack of money to buy materials to prevent this disease. Um, areas where migration is high um, because people are not um, uh, already immune to the disease, so they're pretty prone to it. Um, and children at the age of five and pregnant women are some of the most prone to this disease due to the lack of immune system uh, in children and Malaria and its symptoms, some severe ones include seizure and unconsciousness, poses a severe impact on the individual and the society in Nigeria because of its high transmission. In fact, an estimated of 76% of Nigerians are in threat of being infected with malaria. In addition, of average monthly income, 77% of the average monthly income are spent to cure the disease and receive relevant health care, which could be otherwise spent on necessities such as education and food that could largely improve Nigerians' life quality. In the workshop, the audience and the participants are going to learn more about the transmission and symptoms. Storytelling and matching games will be used to inform the audience about the topic in a creative and engaging way. At the end of the session, pamphlet will be handed out to the participants to allow them to have access to the information after they go home. The target audience are mainly children and pregnant women, and certainly children under the age of five because of their high risk of being infected. Yet, it is, it is important for everyone to know when to seek for help if they're diagnosed with malaria. For our first exercise, we have identifying the symptoms, also nicknamed symptom sort. In this activity, the participants will learn about the symptoms of malaria through a story type game. Their goal is to match each symptom card to the symptom poster in its correct position. In this activity, in this activity, the participants will be will be grouped into groups of three or will be solo depending on attendance. Okay, as you can see on the left hand side, we have the symptom poster itself where we have the blank spots where each symptom card will go, except the fever one. That's an example of how the symptom card will look like on the poster. On the right-hand side, we have the symptom cards themselves, with a simple image depicting the symptom, as well as a simple definition to help the young player understand. At the end of the exercise, the facilitator will check the participant's work then the facilitator will explain whether or not they were wrong. And we'll give them the right answer. Now moving on to the next exercise. During this activity, parents and children will listen to cues and often and get to learn about how that is often affected affects uh, the consequences of malaria. During the activity, the children will have two scenarios based off of based off of malaria. Afterwards, they will be they will be picking. Afterwards, they will be they will be. 
Afterwards, they will be reading the scenario and at the end, pick one out of the two options based off their knowledge of the disease. The options will either the options will either help prevent malaria or worse or worsen your condition. For example, one of our stories include a mother telling two of her daughters to wear to use bed nets before going to sleep. The children will either choose to go. The children will either choose to wear the bed nets or not, and based off their choice, they will understand the consequences of either using bed nets or not. This activity will help teach the children about the ways to prevent malaria and, and the importance of keeping themselves safe. At the end of the workshop, the participants will receive a pamphlet, and the pamphlet will include important information, including what is malaria, how it is transferred, who is the most vulnerable, and symptoms to ensure that they can seek medical help as soon as possible. So this is our automized budget. On the left side is the lowest price possible uh, for that material, and on the right side is the highest price possible, so like the best merchandise. And you can kind of mix and match through that um, for any price, um, so that we can give more money to other uh, parts of this uh, project that probably need it more. So the least that we can spend is $250.30, and the most that we can spend is $486. Thank you for listening to Transition and